sleep in my little Kia soul. <sighs> but it's gonna take a little bit to get ready because one, this is disgusting. I took out the kids' car seats and I need to do a deep cleaning before I even try to create my platform bed on here and figure out my situation. So, cleaning first. Let's get to it. I think there's like orange juice that's how old that's been crusted away. Some leftover Cheerios, Fruit Loops, you name it. I don't even know. I want to know what's back here. So, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> I'm going to try um, car camping uh, within the next couple weeks. I'm headed out to Sturgis and the easiest way for me to do that was to one, not fly, and two, it just makes me nervous taking the bike um, and figuring out logistics and whatnot. So with it being my first time, I figured take the car, just crash in my car wherever I need to, um, and then I'm going to rent a bike there so if i'm going to do that i need to be comfortable in my little kia soul so i created this platform which actually folds up and i can store it away but one side will be for my bed the other one will house anything clothes or containers related that part there but then i also created these fun um blackout window covers it is black on one side and it has the reflective insulation so it'll keep out some of the heat or the cold pretty much the heat during the summer time frame and then i just did a little fun cover on the front part most of the tutorials that i saw online did not have a pull tab and so putting these up made it a pain in the butt to take down because they were so tight to the window um so i created just a little pull tab for them to make them easy to pop in and out when i need to so i've got one for the small ones i've got for the um, backside passenger and driver side i've got window coverings and then the back is actually two pieces this isn't light that you see this is actually the reflective um, installation um, but it holds up pretty well and blocks out all of the sun for the most part so I did not create um, pull tabs for these guys just because it's easy to put them down in two pieces but I did kind of create a seal almost so that there's one reflected part here and then the board kind of overlaps itself so that is that and yeah so far so good i'm still kind of working at things of where i'm going to put everything while it's in here including all my riding gear but so far pretty impressed with myself i wanted to give you just a little rundown of how I pack my car <laughs> everything in my little kia so underneath my seat there is the whoopee blanket the pillow and the tent in case i need it and want to sleep outside but for the most part everything is housed inside so kind of divvied him up by houses pretty much <laughs> by the how the house is so kitchen that's my cooler and the kitchen buckets all my utensils everything is all housed in here conveniently it fits between the back seat and the driver's seat i've got an extra backpack <clears throat> one of two helmets of course this platform bed that i built actually slides up and onto the armrest so when the seats are moved forward I have a sturdy base for it right now. It's just pulled back because I need to be able to access some of the stuff in here. Then all of my electronics are housed in the sky. So I've got my chair, my table, my tripod, lens, drone, camera, my Goal Zero, solar panels, a bunch of miscellaneous books and stuff like that. My DJI Osmo, and I think that's pretty much it for that. But if I need to quickly get to anything for photo-wise or drone-wise, that's all on this side. 
Moving around to the back, I've got a five gallon, I think it might be actually six gallon, just water that I'll use to wash all of my dishes in. Then I've got an actual drinking two and a half gallon, I think it is, water. My toiletries that I bought at Sturgis, just my extra pair of shoes closet. <laughs> This moves up in the front too when I don't need to get at it. So then I have a full bed to sleep in. So I have an X-ped bed, which is a blanket on top. And I've got my blanket, full-size pillow, of course, because I can. And then all of my privacy shades that I made and need for the front. So this is the front and it goes on all of the sides. So back windows this window and these small little guys right there so it gives me enough privacy to be able to sleep well so like I said this board goes all the way to the front I've got beach towels on it just because it is plywood and I don't want to get splinters everywhere we're on things so this guy I've got my laptop holding it down right now it's deflated but it'll go completely flat when the passenger seat is folded back up but for right now just kind of hold it down so I can see out the back while I'm driving the rest of this is just kind of miscellaneous stuff so I've got my hammock electro other electronic devices I've got just in case meals <laughs> dehydrated meals my shoes my motorcycle shoes my tank bag and all of my riding gear is kind of stuck in the middle here then I've got my bathroom caddy along with my towel whenever I do try to find a shower which I need to find one today because I'm going on day three <laughs> then in the front I keep it pretty open just to make it feel like I'm driving so I've got my goal zero power bank that's conveniently charging anything I need to then just handy snacks are all dry snacks are in here and my igloo playmate which is super cute it's got some drinks in there and just my backpack so yeah that's pretty much it i also have a roof rack but i don't i don't really need to utilize that because literally it's just me everything fits conveniently conveniently in my car so let's get on the road to sturgis